Alright guys, it's the evening now. I've been actually scouting around. I was trying to do a side quest where I have to find a stallion that kind of escaped the farm. Uh, I was not successful right now, so I'll probably try that later. Um, there's Vashik. Where is the priest? The priest was supposed to meet me here. Is he inside? Ah, here he is. Alright, let's talk with him. Blessings of our Lord be and with you, lad. Take a seat. All right, thank you. Let me take a seat. Looks like a pretty nice, comfortable seat. Thank you. All right, let's talk. I'm sorry I can't tell you everything, but maybe we can work something out. But first, I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? Scallets. I'm from Scallets. Scallets. Oh. I'm sorry. What about your kin? They're dead. They're dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. It was. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. We had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. The parents, the girl, even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Talmberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of a church in Rovna. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. Thank you. And how did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch Bernard. He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujitz, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well, congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. We'll have to drink to that. Now the most right, important yeah. thing. What actually happened in Noyal? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things, but I take most of it with a pinch of salt. I mean, that's good. This time they weren't exaggerating. The rumors aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. Judging by what's left of our Lubosh, we're still settling accounts. Uh, I see yeah. it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Dreadful. Very. Well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. I noticed you're handy with a sword. I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't expect that of a man of the cloth. You know what they say. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. <laughs> but this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by force. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. All right, let's get straight to the point. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal, do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. Then I've reached the, a dead end. You're making excuses. Then I've reached a dead end. I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again, and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. I might have a solution. Okay, cool. What is it? If I tell you what Lubos told me, I'd be betraying the confessional secret. But, first thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Word of honor? On my soul. Okay. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where else do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujits is in Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. 
If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. <laughs> Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. The tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. And stories from real life, with a nice moral to them, are popular as well. Especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. Oh. <laughs> Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague, in the Czech language... And the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hoos is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. Oh, What's right. so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hoos about Mother Church. The lamentable well in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth, and they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay, and you will have absolution. What if the huh. devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive fur. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Amen. Amen. That was well, good. This Jan Hoos character is quite a rebel. <laughs> oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. <laughs> Funny. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation's completely different. Who preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor? Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sasal Monastery. You want to preach against debauchery? Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then criticizes the Pope for, be, for debauchery? <laughs> no, I don't. I think they're getting a little drunk. What do you think of Hus? What do you think of this Jan Hus? He's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of frog and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. The teaching of Master Hus. Where can I find out more about his teachings? Do you like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. What are folks saying about it? What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud things that make them angry. And they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundation. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. <laughs> Nonsense. They can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe. Enough about preaching. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Yeah. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. All right. Uh, I'd say that's a good plan. I uh, ah, restarted like it. A good you know, plan. I, had to load. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I wasn't really sure if there was any other way to do it, so I figured, you know what, I'll just load it, and we'll drink and make the priest happy, get him to trust us, and then maybe he'll tell us what we need to know. <laughs> Alright, just gonna be partying all night long. Okay, I got it. Sweet. I'm just having a good time, just drinking. Nice. Yeah. How many drinks are we having? I think he's gonna get passed out, robbed, and left for dead. I don't know. This guy, he, 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 a priest that drinks that much. I don't know. Come 
on, go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. One. Ugh. Jesus. Yep, he passed out. Enough of this. Bailiff, come on over here. Sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men, throw them out. Oh. Great. Okay. Uh, you looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. What? Why? Really? Oh, come on. You kidding me right now? Okay, I can't see anything. It's freaking dark. Okay, I can't even see what's going on right now. I'm just gonna punch this guy in the face. Ow! Ow! Where am I getting punched from? Okay, where are you guys at? Let's go in and get this guy from the side. Yep, there we go. And can't even see anything. It's way too freaking dark. I can't see what is going on. It's like the freaking Walking Dead in here. You can't see anything. Ow. Okay, okay. Help Goodwin, or Godwin. Objective completed, okay. Uh, what happened? Where the heck am I? Where, where am I? And Henry, too, I'm sure. Right, Henry. Stop that nonsense, Godwin. Are you out of your mind? Uh. What will people say? They can say what Oof. they like. What do I care? What do they do to me? What's the step? Why did I join or agree to do this with this guy? Uh, what the heck is going on right now? Here we are. Look at this beauty. <laughs> are they gonna freaking ring the Did bell right now, really? This? Can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is not good. This is this is not good at all. This is wonderful. I knew my original choice was the best way to go. Uh, uh, okay, he's throwing out the window. They're throwing up out the window. Right. Ugh. And now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. Ugh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Godwin, you old goat. Come here. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Don't tell me. Oh, boy. The priest has mounted up. What do you say, Henry? Shall we take a little ride of our own? Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, my screen is really dusty, and I can't even see with the sun right now. I figured something like that might happen. Great. Okay. Bah, bah. Wow, I can't even see anything. Yikes. What are we doing? What are we doing, dude? We're oh damn. What, what's what? going on? Okay, this is just this is just nonsense right now. Uh, uh. Damn. Well, I have to say that was a fine evening. It was. It was. Now what? 
Godwin, you beast. Get up. Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards. <laughs> oh, fuck it out. Oh, oh, where the... Oh, what the... Oh, who the hell are you? Uh. Oh, Henry. My great friend, Henry. Didn't we have a wonderful time? Yes, we did. You certainly did, you old lecher. <laughs> now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. <laughs> oh, stiff on in my head. Oh, my guts. <laughs> Poor suffering stomach. <laughs> What was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive. I've forgotten something. Uh, you're a priest? What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? <laughs> what the fuck was it? Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. <laughs> you have to help me. What? Oh, really? You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. Yeah, you, you don't say. Me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. What? What? So, first, I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. Then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And <laughs> now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. <laughs> no, I've got it. Suppose a Sir Ratzik's protege. You just came from studying in Prague, and you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. <laughs> Henry, look, from what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. Yeah, if yes, sir. If for someone else complains about me, the bishops can have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. <laughs> You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. Ooh. How Ooh. about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosha's cronies are. Okay. Sounds like a deal. Drinking binge quest log updated. Oh, I've reached a new level in drinking. Sweet. The confessional seal isn't sacred anymore. We'll never get away with it. All right, but I can't guarantee the result. Mm. Well, all right. Well, I can't make any promises about what will happen. No, neither can I. What do you want me to do, exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubo. Christ almighty. <laughs> Fine, then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Let's get to it then. Ugh. Okay, am I supposed to go in these clothing or what? Um, let's see. Actually, I should have. Uh, let's see. Marigold decoction. Uh, hangover effects. There we go. Let's eat that. There we go. And that should help me a little bit, anyways. Um, okay, okay, I'm on my way. Let's go. Where's my clothes, though? Hey, my armor gotcha. and everything. I'll remember you. All right, oof, man, even with the marigold decoction, it it didn't do too much. Oof, drank way too much. Oh, jeez. He can hardly walk after his capers last night. You were with him, you beast. <laughs> you were with him. That's funny. Mother of God, any minute now, throw up. Hmm, I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. <laughs> In nomine patres et fili. Et spiritus sancti. Amen. Accepit panem. 
in sanctas at venerabiles a manus suas. Is he going to throw up all over the altar? In meam commemoration. Hello. Brothers and sisters, <laughs> you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scholars, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush to investigate that heinous crime at Neuha. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University preaching. <laughs> I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Because, as you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So Henry, you may begin. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Begin the sermon confidently. Start a lengthy sermon, start a modest sermon. Start the sermon confidently. Brothers and sisters, let me go straight to the point. I'd like to talk about the church and how corrupt it is. Boy, is a cheek. <laughs> Uh, God stands at the head of the church. We are commanded to reject dissolute priests. It is not man but God who is the ruler of the world. Creation has given to every man the power by which he might rule the whole world. But that power does not give him the right to rule. That right belongs to God alone. I don't know if that was a correct one. Amen. All right. Uh, let's go continue worldly. It is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Plague, enemies, injustice, hunger and chaos, failed harvests, fires, floods, and other catastrophes. And it is all due Fail. to... Um, what? The corrupt servants of God who do not practice what they preach. They think sins can be washed away by money, and they sell indulgences, and, and that, that's bad, because sins cannot be redeemed with silver. Prague didn't do much for his confidence. Uh, talk about the sin of fornication, talk about drunkenness, to sin is human. It is the custom of the gluttonous prelates and monks to preach against sin, but what do they know of us ordinary folk? Let us remember the marriage at Cana, where our Lord Jesus Christ himself feasted with the other guests and drank his fill. And when the wine was gone, he performed a miracle and created more. He, whose companions were poor travelers, simple folk, prostitutes and troublemakers, performed a miracle so the feast could continue. Now that's the kind of sermon I like to hear. No, brothers and sisters. Jesus did not condemn alcohol. Drink to lighten the cross you bear in this veil of tears, but not with such abandon that you cannot keep holy the Sabbath. For there should be moderation in all things, and it is not drinking itself that is sinful, but intemperance and beastly indulgence. He's right. Yeah. Uh, we'll continue harshly. Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself... Success, the yes. Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Down with the frillets. Away with them. We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man. <laughs> uh, criticize, criticize, uh, try to quote the... I say to you, in the words of Jan Hus, he who knows much, let him speak much. He who knows little, let him speak little. Let each speak as much as he knows, 
And he who knows nothing, let him at least teach his neighbor one virtuous deed by setting him good example and refraining from playing dice and from fornication. And that applies both to priests and to you, brothers and sisters. That's his conclusion. That is all I heard in Prague. Amen. Quest log updated sermon, all right. Well, seemed like they liked it, no? The lad spoke well. Okay. Considering what a soak he is. Ugh. He's right, that was. The young man shouldn't drink so much, but the Lord's given him a silver tongue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, cool. It looks like I did it successfully. Well, well, my boy, you have talent, and I can't deny it. Thank you, Older thank you. From my side. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I noticed. But I wasn't the only one. Well, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin. Uh, so gluttony and fornication. God does hey. forgive a penitent. So, what did Limpy Lubosch tell you? Was he at Neuhoff that day? Who was with him, and, and, and where are they now? Now slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. Don't let me down after all I've been through. For you? Well, now Lubos came to me shortly after it happened, and his conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say, uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. He said they'd been hired through some crony of theirs, and at first they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour and people started getting killed. Right, right. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. Okay. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhoff. That would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. So I know that Lubos killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Uh, only nicknames. Uh, talked about some fella called Riki from Ledechko. Pious, Timmy. Pious. <laughs> that lot are about as pious as I am ordained. Uh, Nonsense. You would make an excellent priest. Uh, thank you. And anyhow, with your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Ledechko, right? Well, we'll have to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tanker with you again sometime. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Although I'm not sure I'd survive another night of your debauchery. <laughs> if anyone should ask, you heard nothing from me. I'll deny everything. All right. I don't doubt it. You didn't see nothing. <sighs> All right, guys. I'm going to leave this episode here. This has gone on for a long time. I've been recording for probably two hours now or so. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Have a great day, guys, and see you next time. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already.